All right, two words for you here, water wasters. KSL hears from a lot of viewers out there frustrated to see excessive watering, broken sprinklers, and total disregard for the drought that is going on across the state. We see it a lot, but when you do see it, there's a place to say something. The state has a tip line, but there are those complaints actually investigated. KSL investigator Matt Gephardt has been fishing for answers. Mike Denny, one thing that we found here is that there's no shortage of people who are not afraid to call out water wasters. But one woman we interviewed said she complained to the city over and over and over again, and each time came up dry. And she wants to know, is anything actually being done with her complaints? You ask. KSL investigates. But when it's raining and people are watering while it's raining. Christy Urquillo. There's, they're just watering the road. And the sprinklers is passionately on. frustrated. You're killing me here. About water wasters. So I'm concerned about water and water usage and people wasting water and not feeling like there's a united front about how to conserve water. After watching a business water their grass just after a rainstorm, Christy says she reached out to the city where the business is located, but she says that did not get her anywhere. It's always, I, um, well, let me have you talk to this person, but then something doesn't happen with that. And that had Christy wondering... How do we report it when we see water being wasted, and how is that dealt with? Last year, a spotlight was shined on the state's Water Hall of Fame or Shame. It's a tattletale tool to turn in your neighbors or businesses that you think are wasting water. Data obtained by the KSL investigator shows that complaints skyrocketed going from just a few hundred per year since it was created back in 2017 to a whopping 8,772 in 2021. So far this year, 538 complaints have been made, and it's not even summer yet. But here's the thing. When the state gets a water complaint, they don't actually have the power to do anything about it. Instead, they take those complaints and they pass them on. Every single call, I... Call back that complainer. Salt Lake Public Utilities' Stephanie Dewar hears the complaints in her city. She says she investigates every single one, thousands of them, by herself. When it comes to violators, she finds simple education tends to work best. I think most people honestly just don't know what to do. But when you explain the circumstances to them and what they could be doing, the impact both for the environment but also their water bill, usually they're responsive. Dewar says that voluntary compliance helped Salt Lake City reach its conservation goals last summer. But in the rare instance that she comes across somebody being gleefully wasteful, there's not a whole lot she can do about it. Unless the city enacts certain water restriction rules, there are no fines or shutoffs. It's something the department has looked at doing, but that means hiring more staff. But then you have to be prepared to spend the money to, to manage the enforcement. Hitting people in their wallets is something that cities like Las Vegas are already doing. With strict water rules in place, residents can receive hefty fines or get shut off for noncompliance. And then there's 15, 10% that uh, just need a little bit more prodding, and that's when we get into these shutoffs. And back here in Utah, the secondary water provider Weber Basin Conservancy District has already flipped the switch on going from education to enforcement. In the last year, Assistant Director Jonathan Perry says they have shut off water to 80 customers for overuse. Um, we shut you off now, and in order to get your water back on, you're going to go in and complete this four-question water use management plan. And Perry says that water only gets turned back on if the customer makes progress on the plan. And as more secondary water meters get put in, it'll get easier to help consumers manage their outdoor water use. So we've got the data being collected on hourly intervals where we can just have a staff run a query on our databases to identify people that need extra education. Extra education is something Christy says she hopes to see more of from the government. We don't have enough water and we do need to change our watering habits. Scared to tattle on your neighbor? Well, all those water complaints are private, we're told, but those investigating the complaints would like your information. They say getting all those details about water waste situations, locations, and if the situation has improved is vital, they say, to making sure the problem is actually solved.